Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make rose oil. This smells really good. This rose smells really good. Um, you're going to need roses. But unfortunately for me, there's a bunch of roses outside growing, so there's always fresh roses around. Um, a jar to put your oil into an oil for your, excuse how it looks like it's oily. I use this for my products, but an oil for, to put your rose into. Measuring cup, um, a cutting board, something to cut it up on, because you want it to be in smaller pieces. Um, and then you're gonna want a pot with some water heating up in it. I'm gonna let this boil. So, I need to get my little tripod, but I think it's in the bathroom. I don't feel like going into the bathroom right now. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have it look at it. Okay, so I couldn't find my tripod. I don't know where it's at. It got moved, so I'm gonna have to find that. But I cut up our rose petals to make it out this stuff. This is why you put down something protective on the counter so you can pick everything up. So we have our roses and our grapeseed oil soaking. I'm gonna cut out and I'm gonna wait for my water to start boiling. And then I'm going to pop this in. Okay, our water started boiling. I took it off of the burner and put the jar in it. Now I'm gonna let this sit here and soak in the hot water until the water cools down. Okay, <clears throat> this is our rose oil. We're gonna wanna let this sit for 24 hours. The longer you sit, the stronger it'll be, but it is done. Um, as you can see, it kind of did change a little bit in color. The oil got a little dark. And as it sits, it will start to pull the color and the fragrance and everything out of the rose petals 
So you can see that they're starting to turn some different colors. And that's because all of the their color and everything that's in them is being extracted out into the oil. I just opened this and this smells just like the roses. So we're gonna let this sit. But this is your finished product.